Well, hello and welcome to Marty Plays Games. We are on the weekend stream and we are taking a look at the Dio Field Chronicle, which is a game from Square Enix uh, from September 2022. And this is a RPG, which is going to show us some kind of introduction now by the looks of things. This is what an the game is about. An island named Dio Field. It's an island named Dio Field. Long known as the home of the gods, Righty. the island has basked in nothing but peace for centuries. Oh, that's going to change, isn't it? Look at those unpeaceful houses growing, and the unpeaceful trees. Alas. An inescapable wave of chaos and change. Oh, look, there's an evil house. While sojourning in Leicestershire at the Leicester residence, the fourth born prince, That's not how you spell Leicestershire. comes under attack. Amidst the chaos, Andreas and Frederick hurry to his aid, and under their courageous protection, he escapes the manor. However, they are ambushed. And Levantia is felled by an assassin's hand. Ooh. With his last breath, he entrusts really. the future to his friends. Levantia's now limp hand bears the mark of the blessed, proof of his rightful claim to kingship. His limp hand. Hmm. Yes. Oh, we're going to play a new game. We'll have a quick look at the options. We have options for sounds, which is always good. Let's turn down the music just a little bit. We have options for controls. We have options for keyboards. We have resolution. We can play this properly full screen with some FPS option limits. Uh, we've got VSync on. All the uh, nice stuff is turned up to highest. Uh, we've got RT on. And interestingly, this only supports FSR and XCSS. There is no DLS, DLSS support, um, which is a bit weird. But there you go. We haven't got those turned on anyway. Don't think we'll need it. We're playing at 14, 40 p There are English and Japanese audio languages. I'm just going to leave it on English for stream purposes. Uh, and I have inverted the y-axis because that is the correct way to use a pad. Um, we've got a rotating minimap and we've got some camera rotation speed stuff there. So that's it. That's all your options. No accessibility options on this one. So if you have sight issues or struggle to read, uh, probably not the game for you. Always disappointing. Because I like to turn the uh, subtitle font sizes up sometimes on this type of game. But no, we cannot do that. Uh, we're going to play a new game anyway. Hopefully there won't be too much in the way of text on this one. But it is an RPG, so we should be expecting some story. Uh, four difficulty levels. Very hard, hard, normal and casual. We'll play on normal because that was default. And some brightness options. Chapter a way one. of life. Thank you. I was about to say that. A way of life. Eight years later. Ah, you didn't say it that time. I hope his hand isn't still limp. You're never going to get anywhere on a chariot like that, if, or a carriage like that, if you're going sideways. If you're going sideways, you're not going forwards. Please hurry! Yes, accessibility does help everyone. And I like seeing accessibility options in games. 
Get rid of this guy. Uh, Bend. I don't know what to expect from this one yet. Uh, I think it's turn based. Victory conditions defeat all the enemies. Defeat condition all allies defeated. So far, so good. Well, we haven't done anything yet. We need to be sure the bandit's target hasn't come to harm. To the carriage. Uh, right. Moving in and selecting an ally. And then select a destination. What can possibly go wrong? Order all units to move or attack. Or set way pin to the Order all. I don't think Square Enix have any other sound effects, do they? Why do they always use that one? Oh. So we've got three camera levels of zoom there. How do we. Oh, there we go. Let's do it that. Yeah, seems alright. Um, so we could move all of them over to the rescue. Let's get going. That's a bit weird how it does that. It's kind of like a free curse movement. Are you hurt? Uh, who are you? Let's just say that we're soldiers. Just soldiers, Frederick. Soldiers. Then might I ask you to secure this area? You will be rewarded, of course. Oh, and take this as well, just in case. It's a prototype, but it should serve you well. I hope you're not an advisor or a leader because you're far too trusting. You don't even know who these people are. Certainly. And you've given them stuff Please already. Seek shelter and leave the fighting to us. This is not particularly well voice acted so far. Oh, who do you not think you out. are? Sticking your nose in where it don't belong. Hand her over! Everything's going according to plan. You remember the next steps, Rius. Kill. A unit will go after a specified enemy. All right, so that's the attack. Once they're in range, they will start attacking automatically. It's a clicker. Ambush from behind gives us a boost to attacks by the looks of things. When setting a destination for unit enemies, detection range will be displayed. Any unit enters this range will be spotted and attacked. Okay. So there is Of some... course. Good. Then let's get this done. Proceed to your next destination. Yeah, alright, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Battle stages overviews. I just want to get to the killing, please. Why did you turn the camera around? Right, so we've got two enemies by the looks things. Can we just do them all at once? Understood. Don't seem to have oh we've got other commands here. Shield oh we, okay, so we do have some additional options there. Potion item stuff. Looks like we've only got the one item. And a, a shield bash. Deal damage to a target inflicting stun. Here it goes. That worked. 
uh, element attacks. No doubt we'll have the same kind of element statuses that they have in all RPGs from Square Enix. And we got there. Sleep, slow, poisoned. Why is that horse jumping in the air? That is not an effective way of attacking somebody. Target eliminated. All right. Right, how are we doing for health? I think we're alright. I think we've got enough to um, kill him as well. On my way. Let's see what ones they've got. So, assassination. Yes, please. Deal damage to an enemy, cooldown is reduced to zero, finishing blow is delivered. It's got a cooldown of eight seconds. And EP. Extra points. Be gone with you. I don't know what E stands for. Let's see what he has. Commands. Oh, he's got an assassination. Oh, come on. Yet another foe defeated. Your Three luck now. Have made it this far, but your luck ends here. I don't think so. You're just an outlaw. You're not even a named character. There are even more of them to deal with now. What's the plan? Kill them. Let's find ways to hit as many of them as we can at once. Does that sound doable, Rias? The command skill. Yeah, we've already looked at those. You, you're too slow here. Skills are used by spending EP. Did you tell us what EP actually is? No. I mean, EP is like a really tiny record, isn't it? Each skill has a cooldown period. Yeah, we saw that. Well. Very much so. I'm ready when you are. Andreas. I think he needs a haircut. Good. Then let's I think get this over. Red Rhett needs a haircut as well, actually. They've all, they've all got terrible hairstyles. It's like they all go to the same place. It's like. It's the big sheet of wind they've gone through. <laughs> That's the style they've gone with. Good. Let them get this over with. Yes. So far, the script is quite poor. We can do attack nearest enemy as well. Oh, but he was going on about commands, wasn't he? So I suppose we ought to do that. Um, does it tell us which character we've got selected? Because there's no names on there. Red Rat. Okay, so Andreas. He has got assassination. It's not really attacking all of them at once, though, is it? I think we'll do a, f a full frontal. Yeah. Oh. We can't actually reach them, though. So let's go. Well, that's not going to work. We'll just move just outside of his attack range. And now... I don't understand why it's not highlighting them very well. Oh, I suppose it is highlighting them on the map. Alright, I'll let you get away with that then. We are going to do a full frontal assault. On you. And now, look, he's turned around, so... Alright, what about you? Assassination? Yes. Be gone with you. And we ambushed him, that's good. No, I don't want you. I want you. I want to. Oh, you're not in range. You call that an attack? Ah, damn it. I don't want to do all of them. I just wanted to do it. Target eliminated. But that's okay. Um, we do potions now.
That's quite a big hill. Let's get going. Now we we'll see the assassination money was so insufficient TP. No targets in range. Got it. Oh damn it! I wasn't even in their range. So it, it causes, as you do stuff with the, uh, with the movement. Uh oh, uh oh. Alright! Target in the Hey, that orb has started glowing. Uh oh. Does that mean we can use it, perhaps? No, it means you run away as a bomb. A royal government prototype, huh? Well, let's see what it can do. Defeating enemies will fill your TP gauge. TP gauge is filled with three stages. That's a made up word, isn't it? Magilumic orbs. They're extremely powerful, though. Just, just call them materia. It'd be easier that way. Open commands with a Y and select a Bahumut. Yeah, you see. Bahumat again. We're going to get Shiva later as well. And Ivrit. Alright. Let's close that down. How do we pick that up then? Do we just move over to. Understood. Yeah. I think we better heal um, Widget here. What's his name? Isilair. Not her name. We haven't got any potions though, so how are we going to do that? We're a bit screwed. We've got no potions. This is all rather inconvenient. Very well. Understood. I don't think they'd be standing there, though. I mean, they can see him. He's in line of sight. Why would you just sit around until you'd actually got somebody coming and chopping at your head with a with a lance? That makes no sense. Um, so how do we move this? Or oh, oh, look, there we go. Let's try that then. That's going to get all three of them. Push four. It's super effective. Right, that was quite a nice animation, I'll give them that. It would seem I've grown strong. And we've leveled it. Fantastic. Thank goodness you were here. Would you mind if I asked your names? What's your name? My name is Frederick Lester. My companion here is Andreas Ronderson. Andreas. And our third is Isla Wigan. We are in the employ of the Wigan family. I see. 
I am Lorraine Luxor. All right, Lorraine. Are you familiar with Duke William Hende of the Lord's Council? Nope. The Duke is establishing a private military unit and has entrusted me with the task. You're doing a bang-up job so far. From what I've seen today, the three of you would be an ideal fit, should you be interested. No, just give us some reward money and we'll walk away. If you are, visit our headquarters at Elm Camp. I will see to it you are let through. A Lord Councillor's private mercenary unit, eh? It seems the plan's coming together, Andreas. What plan? Aye. Onward and upward. Let's go. Andreas and his fellow Central Field mercenaries come to the rescue of a government official, Lorraine Luxshaw, and are invited to join Duke Hende's private militia as a result of the prowess they display. They didn't this display unit that is headed by Commander Yalzum Jordan, a former knight from a mid-ranking noble family. And the mercenary trio's first task is to go and meet their new commander at the unit's base. Hmm. Here we are. Whoa! Look at this! It's amazing! <gasps> wow. wow! The Duke is said to be a connoisseur of foreign culture. <gasps> this, he would have had specially imported, I'm sure. Well, well, well. <gasps> Not just a ragtag band of sellswords after all. I'm intrigued. Greetings, everyone. I'm the general administrator for the unit, Lorraine Luxor. And this That's is not Lorraine Luxor, is it? Yulzim Jordan. I'm in charge of this unit. You were in Final Fantasy VIII. I assume you're the new recruit. Yes. I am Frederick Lester. Andreas Ronderson. Isola Wigan, at your command. Wigan? Well, he was a brilliant fighter. Never struck me as... the fatherly type. I'm sure you will endeavour not to sully our unit's name. Oh, I will. Now, like other mercenaries, we take requests from the citizenry. But with one important caveat. Since this unit is financed by Duke Hende, his orders always take precedence. No exceptions. Don't disappoint him. We'll try not to. I trust in your ability. Once again. As you heard, as you heard from the commander, Jordan, Duke William Hende is set up this year. I shall now explain. Well, thank you, Lorraine. You explained didn't didn't explain very well. Union's private funds the endeavours to bring together the best talent from across. Altain or Alitain. Consequently, consequent couldn't you couldn't pay the uh, voice actors to enough then to read the full script, and he expects a commensurate rate in return. But with your skill, I trust he shall not be left. Wanting. And with that, now then, before you take the field, let's get you some. Equipment. You will surely succeed. I should surely will. I've made arrangements at the shop. One of our assistants is there, so please speak to them. Come to think of it. You're just saying random things now, aren't you? That, that have no relevance to the actual text that's in the box. And let me replace that amalgamic orb. There's a risk of it exploding in the state. Like, oh, bloody hell, we don't want that in our pocket. Very well. Understood. You, you could have just voiced understood it was actually shorter than very well wasn't it 
Understood. Very well. Reese can freely move around Elm Camp. Was it, um... I can't think of a name. I'm sure it began with Q, Quintus, or something like that. But she was the instructor at the gardens in Final Fantasy VIII. I'm sure it began with Q. School to teach her, anyway. But that's almost exactly the same character model, only not wearing orange. Well, the, the models are okay. They're nothing particularly special. They're not particularly high polycon count. But some of these textures are definitely quite low quality. And why did it... It's, they need to have a word with the person who um, decorated this hall, really. They haven't even got matching wood tiling, have they? Ooh. And that's creepy as all anything. Having doors open magically by themselves. That's what I was trying to say. I knew it began with Q. Quistress. Yeah. Oh, hello. Just hanging around in the corner, are you? He's an anxious archer. And a shop assistant. He got rather a lot of armour for a shop assistant, I would say. There we go! Well, she's had a change of clothes as well, but she looks quite similar. Things are going well. And a lot of that is down to you. Keep it up. What? We haven't done anything yet. We only just got here and we're, we're telling people they're doing a good job, are we? Oh, maybe he's not the... Uh... Maybe he's not the shop assistant then. Doesn't actually tell you who he is. There we go. Oh, it's Frederick. I, what? How is that Frederick? Right. Let's try and find the shopkeeper. Nice hat you got there. Oh, and he's disappeared. Oh, there you go, he disappeared. Fantastic. <sighs> Duke Ende is a remarkable man with a great mind, but he's far from easy to work for. You sure you should be talking to your boss like about your boss like that? You know, to a stranger, you don't know who I am. I could be from HR for all you know. Oh, are you a shopkeeper? Well done. I'm an outstanding soldier. Where did you train? What? How, how do you know that? I like that uh, the rumours of our ability as soldiers have spread so far and wide, so as quickly as, as they have. They should really put a... Um, oh, uh, maybe we're going to go towards this flag, aren't we? There we go. There's a shop. 
Although he looks more like a uh, a thief. Yes. Yes? I haven't asked you anything yet. Ah, oh, Andreas, don't worry. Lorraine briefed me on the situation. Did she also give you our photograph? Because how do you know what we look like? And also... I've been allocated this weapon. It's a nice sword. Yeah, well... I know there's not much, but it beats anything you'll find in town. My thanks. Ooh. Ooh. That, that was a, um, a knowing ooh, wasn't it? I must say, uh, rescuing an official by chance and becoming the Duke's hand, that's quite the look. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. I, we, yeah. we could be spies for the enemy. And you wouldn't even know you're so trusting. I've got a feeling you're destined for great things. Let's give our best for the unit. Eh? <laughs> I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but you have to equip that weapon if you want to use it. That, that's what he was laughing about. Like, ha, 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 ha. As if we didn't know. Can we pick up any of these things? So can we actually do any shopping? Uh -huh. We can. I think we probably ought to get some potions. How much have we got? 1500G. That's a potion. That's a jade potion. We store 50% of targets max EP and HP. So we actually want some of these. Let's have five of those. Accessories. Uh, it's that plus five over what I've currently got. That's plus ten. Well, I'll have to assume that that is a plus five on defense. Oh, that's a bit annoying that you couldn't go up and down on the menu there. Without, you've got to actually go to there to change it. Then you can go to it. Uh, so we've got ruby bracelets that give us increased attack. HP increase. These are HGs. So we need 240 Gs for each of these. Lower tier ones. And there's five of them. So we'll be able to get three. Uh, let's look. So it looks like these specifically target one item. I think if we get three of those, and three of those. And three of those. So we've got 218. Alright, oh, actually we can get one more of those. Ring was look. Or technique. Right. Let's see if we can equip those. No, not with that one. Yeah, I think we know how to equip stuff, thank you. That has increased our attack plus nine. Has it automatically equipped those for us? Yeah.
That's very weird. We can only equip one thing, two things then. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, I didn't need to buy all of that stuff then. I'm not, I can't say I'm a big fan of the, the way the equipment works. So we've got extra HP there. Yeah, that's not very satisfactory. What about that one? That's... Uh, we only got one of those. Yeah. That's, that's alright. So, what have we got in the world of quests? We have to talk to... Isolir. Anyway. Anyway, you should. Yeah, let's go back out this way. Ooh. That's convenient. Are you serious? I'm quite serious, and don't call me Shirley. I don't exactly feel welcome. They all seem to be dismissing me without a second glance. They were telling us what a great job we were doing earlier on. However... They will change their minds when they see you fight. Zorak changed you well. Trained you well. But True. Back home, no one can match me. That is until you two showed up eight years back. <laughs> one must always be open to new challenges, Izzy. Izzy? Hmm. Go ahead and talk down to me while you're still. Down. I'll show you! Eight years ago. How old were you when they turned up? That'll do it. So just you be careful. I won't be the one giving you orders before too long. Aye. I'll bear that in mind. Yeah. The, um... That was a pointless mission. Go and talk to this character and just have some... Boring... Tedious conversation there we that go. did not move the story forward or give us any important plot information. A mercenary unit and one with close ties to the government as well. It's finally happening. What's happening, Frederick? Oh, really? Seven years have passed since Levi's death. I remember it's clear as if it was yesterday. Damn. That seems unlikely. Every day I wonder, if I'd only been a little stronger, could I have done something? Uh... Hmm... I realise that no good will come of dwelling upon it, of course. Another weakness of mine. Why? What What was your other weakness? All the more reason. But one that drove me to make a vow. At least... I need to muster more strength first. Sure you do. I vowed that I would grow stronger strong enough that when the time comes I will be ready do me proud we will bring about the world Levi dreamed of you and I together Aye. that we will things are going rather well wouldn't you say well the script no I'd say that was going rather badly yeah I mean, finding out those bandits' plans? Talk about a stroke of luck. I mean, I know you have your ways, Rears, but where's to pick up a tidbit like that? I simply happened across it. This is a big step forward in any case. For Izzy, as she strives to prove herself, 
and for you and I as we aim to bring peace to the country. May our dreams spur us on to victory. And may we three fight as one. Hear, hear. Maybe the Japanese voice acting is better in this one. The era of myths gives way to an era of great turmoil. War looms dark over the Rotail mainland, and amid the unrest, the common bandit Trovelt Chauvier sees his opportunity and establishes an empire. Commanding a disciplined army and versed in modern magic, the empire is a power to be reckoned with. It promptly establishes control over the western part of the continent. Rotale's other nations respond by forming an alliance to combat the threat of the Empire. Despite their combined strength, they were largely powerless to resist the Empire's advance. The continent was ravaged by the devastating war between the Empire and the Alliance. However, one nation remained unaffected by the chaos. The Kingdom of Alatane, on Diofield Island, situated off the northwestern coast of Rotail. On the mainland, the war reached a stalemate when the powerful Vermin Republic joined forces with the Alliance. The two sides were now evenly matched. However, localized fighting continued to intensify in a bid to secure Jade, a resource for modern magic. With Jade believed to be abundant on Diofield, the attention of both the Empire and the Alliance inevitably turned towards the island. Great the Kingdom war. of Alatane, ward of the Orgus, looked destined to have its soil stained with the blood of battle. One month later, we're skipping time now, aren't we? That disappeared too quickly. Something happened anyway. Ooh. Got a sec. Right. Has it been only a month since you arrived, and already you're nearly as indispensable as me? Yeah, but you're just a mercenary. Uh, oh, bother! The rain's looking for us. <laughs> that definitely hilarious. We'll have to give you some special tea. Uh, right, where's Lorraine then? Is she upstairs? No, because that is blocked. So we definitely cannot go up there. Even though I, I really want to now. Look at that bloom effect. Uh, I do like a nice bloom. I don't know why the candles are glowing blue though. Perhaps they're not candles. Fake candles. Right. Is she over here somewhere? She hasn't moved. Is she still in that room with the big table? That is freaky. Yeah, she's still there. Definitely is Quistress. She'll get a whip out in a moment. As expected. The work you and your comrades have done this past month has been nothing short of remarkable. I'll take your word for it, given we didn't see it. Andreas. Our strategic insight and intelligence gathering skills in particular have impressed me. If you wouldn't mind. And so your unit has more than earned the right to join us at the planning table. How does that sound? Sounds fantastic, Lorraine. Hey! A failed mission lowers the unit's reputation and reflects poorly on me. Remember that, won't you? Right, end the bandit menace. Ooh, we've even got a book to look at now. 
select a mark on the map to begin the mission. Each mission has assigned a recommended level and if you do not meet this you may need to increase your character's level by completing other missions and grinding. Because that's what we do in this type of games, right? Is that the only one we can select? It looks like it. Defeat Gofran. And then we'll get 600 gold, 1 SP, whatever that is, and a chest chest. We should be level 6. Well, we are level 6, so this should be relatively straightforward then, eh? Well, well, now we're Our next down. mission has come directly from Duke Hende. It will be carried out along with other mercenary units. The target is a large-scale bandit camp in the Regia Highlands, on the border between Centralfield and Westfield. Droves of mercenaries from across the region have been mobilized for this particular task. We will combine to make a large strike force and attack in concert. So, any questions? Yeah, Commander, on the bass guitar. numbers are hardly a boon when the way to the bandit camp leads through a narrow gorge. Indeed. Rather than engage the enemy head on, we could target their leaders in a stealth attack. Yes. If we take a small unit and set off tonight, we will have a good chance of catching them off guard. Then there should be only a handful of surviving bandits left. The main force can mop them up when they arrive at the break of day tomorrow. You suggest merely pretending to work jointly with the others to steal a march on the enemy? Yes. I propose that Frederick, Isolair, and myself form a separate task force for this purpose. I also suggest that you join the main group, Commander Yulzim, to draw attention away from our movement. You better keep up the pretense. Very well. If it is a diversion that's required, I would certainly help to make it convincing. I feel we would also benefit from having a talented sniper join our ranks. The knight errant Iscarion would certainly fit the bill, Commander. He is one of the mercenaries participating in the raid. A self-proclaimed knight, no? Very well. I will visit him at the encampment after you set off and ask him to join you. Thank you, Commander. Now, we had better set off for the Regia Highlands. Central Field, Regia Highlands. I don't really understand why the bandits have started attacking the cliff folk, to be honest. Perhaps they're after some rare treasures. Or maybe, maybe there's been a territorial dispute between those that dwell in the Highlands. I suppose we'll have to ask them about that, won't we? Though, I imagine they'll be tight-lipped. Huh? All right, then we'd best get ourselves to the base of the mountain. More troops should be joining the main force before long. Yes. The plan is for them to set off for the bandit camp at first light. Good. Then we should make haste. Hmm? Who's there? Well, well. What do we have here? You don't look like bandits. Mercenaries, perhaps? And I might ask... Who are you? He's a sniper. I am a Scarian Colchester. He's here already? Wow! Amazing! Commander Jordan works ever so quickly. No, he doesn't work this quickly. A legion of mercenaries all attacking at once would lead to utter carnage. And would result in casualties among the people we're trying to help. Also, unlike a regular army, mercenaries are not used to cooperating. Meaning they are looking out for themselves, and only themselves. <laughs> a full-on assault is bound to fail. Therefore, I decided it more efficient to eliminate their leaders ahead of time. 
You are going to do that alone? I prefer my own company when picking out unsuspecting targets. Would you not think it'd be better if we worked together? I suppose it might. You do seem different to the money-grubbing mercenaries I've met before. You've piqued my interest. Let us join forces, if only for the moment. I'll take that as a compliment. Now, we'd better be on our way. Get your bow ready, Iscariot. Your famous archery skills are required. Oh, I thought it was going to have a sniper well. rifle, but no. As expected, the enemy are focused on our main battle group, leaving an opening for us. Lucky Sounds Rosa. very much like my time to shine. I'll provide cover should the enemy spot you. Sounds good. Let's go. Sharpshooters. Range the tanks. Hold on. There's a drawbridge over there. It's been raised. No doubt to keep intruders out. But look what's next to it. Their base is turret. Exactly. If we capture it, we should be able to lower the bridge. Let's make it our priority. Yeah, lowering the bridge is definitely stealthy. Where's our sharpshooter then? Understood. Rain of arrows. Can't quite get two of them, can we not? Oh, we nearly had it then. Well, let's try just getting the one. You think you can escape? There we go, full front and some place. Push forward. Be gone with you. That's some weird. Weird stuff going on there. Yeah, bash him. Bash him again. Not done yet. Understood. Understood. Will it take? Less time if all of us are trying to capture it, or does it do the same? Yes, it does. We've it. It. They'll never hear those. They'll never hear that. I mean, that wasn't loud, was it? That definitely was not loud. On my way. Can we use that um, 
power. I've got it. Hang on, I thought I got it. Told all of them to go there. Right. Oh, we can't use that. Why? Because we have to charge up our thing in the bottom right there. Maybe. Understood. Come on. Go. Good. Let's get this green one. On my way. I wanted all of you to move. I've got it. On my way. Selecting somebody in the computer attacking. Let's get oh, going. Me. That's recovered. Alright, I think we need to cover him. We have a potion. Let's uh, heal him up. That's better. So, can we destroy these barricades? Is there anything else in here that we can. Ooh, treasure. Understood. Nearly missed that. Have we here? Jade Crystal. Very well. That barricade put up no resistance. Um. On my way. Shield. Here it goes. So we've, that's quite good actually, because we've now stunned. Be gone with you. Target eliminated. I've got it. Rain of arrows. Can escape. We'll find oh, so. It's really quite tricky to eliminate it. I've got to control all of these in because it's real time, but can we actually slow time down more than that? No, we can't. So we can only go down to speed one, we can't Next actually go any slower than that, which would actually be quite useful. How are we doing for health? Let's, um... I think you're probably okay for now. Let's 
Let's go and pick that up. Got it. And let's go and capture. Understood. It. It's been secured. What are you dogs here for? For you, Goffrin. He must be the leader of those bandits. Indeed. We'll be done with these scoundrels before the break of day. When an enemy unit uses a skill, its area of effect will be displayed. It is possible to dodge a skill by moving out of its way. Some units have a skill that prevents an enemy from being performed. Shield bash. Understood. Why can't we use a potion? I thought we had loads of those. Shield bash. Here goes. Don't call that an attack. Did it without losing any characters. What a fool I was to let that common criminal pull the wool over my eyes. Yeah, shut up, Goffrin. Ah. Mission clear. Oh, we didn't do it within four minutes. Never mind. So we won't find out what that block of butter is now. I'm not stopping here. Excellent work. The bandits soon fell apart without their leaders. Yes. Thank you, Commander. By the way, I take it that you heard that someone in fact incited the bandits to attack the cliff folk. Yes. And there are knights looking into the matter. <clears throat> As it happens, Commander, a knight's requested your audience. Fine, I will see them now. You are free to go. Enjoy some well-deserved rest. Well, I suppose we should turn in for the night. Hmm? Iska? Frederick. Long day, wasn't it? It was indeed. Not as long as it would have been without your help. Why don't you join us? There's a place for an archer of your caliber in our unit. Won't you consider joining us? <laughs> Thank you. I know I told you before that I preferred to work alone. That I valued my independence. But I admit, last night, my limitations were laid bare. I realized the importance of having allies. 
Not for my own sake, but so I might help more people than I could ever help alone. Iska, let me make something clear to you. We are not the highest authority in this unit. That would be the commander. Oh, I know you answer to Yulzium Jordan. Doing a good job of it too, it seems. Yes, well, we do our best. So, Iska, what say you? Will you join us? I will. Yes. Then welcome to the unit. Thank you. It's an honor. After proving his worth in the fight against Goffrin, Iscarion Colchester is asked to join the unit. He had previously fought as a self-styled knight-errant, having cut ties with his noble family. Traditionally, the Knights of Alatane rule their own domains and collect taxes from their subjects, from which they pay a portion to the royal government. It is a system widely abused by the aristocracy, who have grown fat off the proceeds. Many of these nobles took up residence in Southfield, the southern region of Deofield. This area is also home to the only trading port on the island. A hub of culture and entertainment. Prosperous on the surface, but below lies a dark underbelly where shady dealings are an everyday occurrence. It is a chaotic place, a melting pot of virtue and vice. Uh oh, not virtue and vice. Quest clear. We have abilities now. They can be strengthened by using ability points and to learn new abilities. And we have a new unit member. Care to explain yourself? Not really. Ugh. What in the world? Ugh. <laughs> That's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Well, that has been the Dio Field Chronicle on the PC. Uh, I'm not sure this is a particularly good game, though. It, it's very middling. I mean, the story and the the voice acting in particular is pretty awful, to be honest. And the story just is... it's... Not great, is it? It's like the uh, the C, or maybe even the Z-class writers of Square Enix wrote this one. It's just... So disjointed. And with so little meaning to it it's uh, yeah quite quite poor the combat is okay again it's middling it's it's quite difficult to the, the, this this combination of real time and menus doesn't work that great you really want to be able to have either or i think because trying to choose the units and the actions while the main combat is going on just doesn't work that well it's a bit all over the place so I can see why this has got mixed reviews on Steam I mean it's not terrible right? I mean graphically it's again it's middling I mean, I've got this maxed out and this looks more like a last gen game well even a last gen console game So it is definitely not a looker. I mean, it's functional. You don't need all the bells and whistles in a game like this. If you combat and your battle system's up to snuff, maybe this gets better later on when you've unlocked a few more skills and things. So it's probably not judging it by the first hour with a game like this is always a bit tricky, but it's not one of these games that hooks you from the off. So I'm not sure I'll play any more of this, really. But that is all from me for today. I shall be back again tomorrow with another game for my pile of shame. Till then, have a pleasant Saturday, and I shall see you 
later.